Alrighty guys, what's going on? Linky here, and in today's video, we are back with the analysis of the newest Pokemon Scarlet and Violet trailer. Today, we're going to be looking at the potential gyms that might have been shown off in the trailer, and some of the interesting tidbits that we might have learned about them here, even though we haven't gotten a ton. Let's jump right into things. One of the most interesting things that we saw from the second Pokemon Scarlet and Violet trailer were these grounds that seemed to be in the natural open areas of Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, and they looked a lot like gyms. Not only were there different trial-esque areas for the player character to, to go through, but there were banners and flags and logos that all seemed to indicate something to do with the Pokemon Gym Challenge. There's a couple interesting things that can be taken away from where these gyms are in the region. The fact that they're seemingly, at least the three that we saw, outside of cities. Generally, the gyms are housed in towns and cities across the region. In a building, you go in and you take it on. This has pretty much remained unchanged throughout all of Pokemon. The only region that really differed with this was Pokemon Sun and Moon. The Alola region didn't have gyms. This was a region that is only just establishing the Pokemon League at the point in the story where you're at. So there were no traditional gyms. There were island challenges, and they essentially acted as gyms. It was a trial and then a boss Pokemon battle at the end, and you did these on all of the various Alolan islands. They were outside of cities and towns. They were on mountains and volcanoes and in forests. It was a really nice change of pace for the Pokemon franchise, but since Sun and Moon, they have gone back to the traditional gym structure, albeit if you ignore Pokemon Legends Arceus, which is also a bit of a caveat. But it appears that these are traditional mainline Pokemon games, and one would think there's going to be a gym challenge of some sort. So the fact that these gyms seem to be in the outside areas and not specifically centered in towns and cities, I think says a lot. I think the biggest bit that we're learning here is that everything in these games is centered on these big natural open areas. That was the big theme of the trailer, the multiplayer exploration, trading and battling with friends. We saw the rival out in the open. We saw the mobile Pokemon centers, the gas stations out in the open. In the first trailer, we did see towns and cities, so we know they're going to be there, but perhaps they will ultimately serve a bit of a different purpose in this adventure. Now, before going any further, I just wanted to mention that the vast majority of you guys who are watching these videos and hopefully enjoying them aren't subscribed to the channel. Now, of course, subscribing is free and you can unsubscribe anytime. And if you do subscribe, be sure to turn that notification bell on so you never miss another upload. We are very, very, very close to 12K, guys, so any sport you can throw my way to help us get there it would be greatly appreciated. Let's get right back into the discussion. I think the most interesting part about these parts of the trailer is the logo that we saw in one of them. This is the same logo that I talked about in a previous video, maybe teasing some sort of sea travel in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, but it is also located right here on this battlefield. We saw three different environments for battles. One was a big tower, a, um, Pokemon, it gave me strong Pokemon Coliseum XD Gale of Darkness vibes. It looks as if it's going to be something you're going to have to scale. The other two, the one that was more interesting to me was the fire type one, we can guess, that had racing flags. There's been a lot of guesses and speculation about what the theme of Pokemon Scarlet and Violet is going to be, and one of those themes that people are speculating about is travel, specifically bikes, air travel, sea travel, all of these different things. Not only do the designs of the legendaries seem to hint at some sort of traveling theme, but as does the entire theming of the region. So to incorporate this theme into the gym challenge itself is probably something that they would think about doing. But what does it mean that these gyms are outside in the open world and not specifically centered in cities? Maybe you still have to go city by city to take on the gym challenge, and maybe gyms are still tied to a person who resides in each of the towns littered across this region, but you have to go out into the open environments in order to actually take it on. This is a bit of an Orange Islands vibe. In the Orange Islands, there were towns and cities littered about the archipelago that Ash and his friends visited, but you had to go out into the ocean, onto beaches, climb mountains in order to actually get all of the Orange Island 
quote unquote badges of the time and then Ash could eventually enter the tournament. So having to go to these towns and cities to get the ability to go about this gym challenge and then heading out into the open, maybe with your friends, maybe there's some multiplayer components with gyms for the first time and taking on these gym challenges is probably going to be the route they go. And the biggest reason that I think for this is just the overall push for multiplayer. You want to incorporate every single one of your features into a bigger multiplayer experience. One of the concerns that I've seen thrown about in the community is that this game is going to be too multiplayer, that a lot of people love Pokemon for its solo adventure, something you can play on your own and experience on your own. And I'm genuinely not really concerned that they're going to mess that up. I don't think the Pokemon company has forgotten that their history is of a single player adventure with multiplayer components. I think they're trying to make multiplayer a more accessible and usable feature, incorporating gyms and the open area and trading and battling into your everyday playing experience is a way to do it but I think the game is going to be perfectly playable as your own singular person as well I don't think they're going to make this into a multiplayer necessary game I, I can't see it Pokemon has always had to walk that fine line of locking features behind multiplayer connectivity, whether it's special trade evolutions or items from the other game. They've done this in the past, but they've always managed to still make the game decently accessible. So if they're incorporating multiplayer and this open world environment into the gyms themselves, I'm perfectly content with saying and trying to tell you guys that it's still going to be a solo experience. Gyms that are multiplayer and in the open world environment could be interesting. They would have to scale differently. The gyms would have to be at a different difficulty, I think, if you're taking them on with multiple people as opposed to just one. So if they were to do that, I think they would have to incorporate some more Alolan style elements to the modern gyms in order to make them less of just a gauntlet of battles some sort of physical challenges with your player character, maybe incorporate some of the action RPG elements that we've seen in some recent Pokemon games like Legends Arceus. All of this could be to spruce up gyms while still returning us to that format. Sword and Shield returned us to gyms, even though the gym puzzles were a lot more involved maybe than in previous generations, at least some of them. I'm thinking back to the Wooloo herding uh, in one of the gyms from Pokemon Sword and Shield. Gyms were a big part of Sword and Shield. The culture around the championship tournament and collecting all your gym badges was the story of Sword and Shield. So while I think there's going to be gyms in Scarlet and Violet, and I think we've seen our first look at open world gyms here, I don't think it's going to be the main focus as it was in the previous generation. There's going to be some other feature that takes the crown and decides to be that big focusing point for this gen. Not only just the gimmick, but kind of to flow from the story as well. So what do you guys think about the gyms we saw in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet so far? Do you think they are the gyms? We don't have official confirmation just yet. And if they are, what do you think about them being separate from the towns and cities? If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you never miss any new Pokemon Scarlet and Violet content. My name has been Linky, and we'll see you all in the next video. Peace out.